Okay guys, so today we are going to build a food recipe website using dynamic content and all of this completely for free. So we're going to create advanced custom fields that will create custom post types. Then we're going to insert our recipes dynamically on our homepage as well. And finally, if you want your visitors to be able to upload their own recipes on your website, I'm also going to show you how you can turn your website into a multi-user platform as well. But before we start, let me show you how beautiful this website looks like. And there you go, as you can see, we have a beautiful hero section here. If you scroll down, you have a few recipes already being shown dynamically again on your website. And then you can break this down in different sections as well. You could have Indian cuisine, Mexican cuisine, and so on and so on. So if you click on any of them, obviously it will bring you to the landing page of this product. As you can see here, we have a recipe for golden sweet cornbread. We have the description here, preparation time, cook time, total time, serving and yield. We have all the ingredients and directions as well. Now we have a call to action button here, upload recipes. If you want to turn this into a multi-user platform, all you have to do is basically click on this, fill out those details. So there you go, perhaps something like this. And all we have to do now is to upload a featured image. So let's select one here, open and then submit and there you go in just a few seconds your visitor was able to upload a recipe on your website now we are going to start from the wordpress dashboard but if you need to set up your hosting and domain name i'll leave a link in this corner here simply click on it and it will show you exactly how to do so with hosting all right so let's get started very good so welcome to our wordpress dashboard so the first thing we're gonna do is a bit of cleaning up as you can see there are lots of things here that we don't need so we go to plugins and then bulk select them all, action deactivate, apply, and then bulk select them again, and this time delete, apply, and then OK. Very good, now we can go back to our dashboard, get rid of this message here, and that's it. Now we have a clean working environment. So let's start by installing the essential plugins that we need. So the first one, we go to plugins here, add new. So the first one is ACF for advanced custom fields. So it's not the first one here, it's this one here by WP Engine, okay? So install now, very good, activate. And now we're gonna install a second one, so add new. And this time type in CPT, so custom post type. And it's the very first one by Web Dev Studios, okay? So install and activate. So let's create our custom post type. So let's click on add edit post type. And we're gonna give it a name. So this will be called recipes, there you go. And this is the slug, so there is no capital letters, nothing. And we have to put this in plural form and singular. So this will be recipes and here recipe. Okay, very good. So we click add post type. And now that we have created our custom post type, as you can see by the side, we have an additional tab that says recipes. And here you can see all your recipes and then add new ones. So as you can see, there's a small icon here. So maybe we can change this. So for this, we go to edit post types. Scroll down the page and right here you can see we have the menu icon. So if you click on choose dash icon, so let's look maybe for food or something related to that. There you go, cutlery here, so that'd be fine, you know. And now if we scroll down and save, as you can see now we have recipes and the icon has changed as well. So this is much better, isn't it? And now let's create our advanced custom fields. So basically here, if you go and create a new one, as you can see, all you have is the title, but there are no fields being displayed here. So what we need to do now is just to create our custom fields. So for this, we go to ACF, so custom fields, and we're gonna add a field group. So let's give it a name. So let's call this maybe recipe details, and underneath we can add all our custom fields. So I found a website here online, allrecipes.com. So just to have an inspiration basically, okay? So what do we usually have? We have the title, a short description, maybe a few images. We have a bit of information like preparation time, cook time, total time, servings and yield. And then obviously we will need the ingredients and directions. So these are the essentials uh, that we would need to create a recipe, obviously, you know? So if we go back here, we can create our custom fields together. Okay, so our first field is normally the title, but if you create a page, a post, or anything in WordPress, it will automatically assign a title as part of the main structure. So we don't have to create this. So the first field that we need to create is actually the short description. So for this, we're gonna select a text area. The label is going to be short description and the field name will be created automatically. You can leave it as is or customize it to your own requirements. All the same, you know, so we can close this. Let's add a second field. So the next one is 
slightly different so let's have a look so underneath our description we have this section here so the prep time cook time total time servings and yield so let's start by inserting this one and you can see there's three of them across so we need to divide this in three equal sections obviously you know so let's go back here so the first one is called prep time and this time we go to presentation scroll down the page and then we can change the attributes here so the width will be 33 percent for this one close field let's add another one together so the next one is cook time so Control c paste it here very good presentation and again 33 percent here okay and now let me create the others very quickly so there you go now we have our five different sections here and now we're going to create the next one so the next one is the ingredients so this is going to be a text area ingredients so there's no need to go into presentation this time is the full width this is fine and then let's create our last one so again this is a text area and this one is called directions there you go close fields very good and now we need to assign where those custom fields will be displayed so this is in the recipe section here so we scroll down the page and as you can see we can set our rule so the rule says it will show this field group if the post type is equal to and here we're going to select recipes okay very good so let's click save changes and now if you go into our recipes and create a new one you will see this screen here so this is basically like a blog post in wordpress except that you have all these custom fields as you can see you type your title here short description and you can see here divided in three different columns you have the prep time cook time total time servings and yield ingredients and directions now this is exactly like creating a blog post now if you don't like this layout i'm going to show you something i prefer it the other way myself so you can always go to cpt ui so basically custom post types edit the existing post types or recipes scroll down straight at the bottom of the page right here and then you'll find this option here editor untick that all together just like this save post type and now if you go back to your recipes and create a new one as you can see it looks totally different i personally prefer this version but this is really up to you uh, one or the other is absolutely fine but i think this is visually more appealing when you upload new content obviously you know so let's just create our first one together okay so this one is called irish soda bread so Control c Control v we're gonna have a short description here so again i'm just gonna copy and paste you know very good so on the preparation time cook time total time as you can see here it says 15 minutes 45 minutes one hour 20 and so on so let's fill this very quickly so there you go basically like this and then we can do the same with the ingredients and directions so there you go again i copied and pasted this from the other website and now we can set our own image here so featured image so select file so you can upload a new file select file so i found one online here so open and then set featured image and all we have to do now is to click publish so let's have a quick preview now in the front end so there you go a big image here irish soda but there is no field so all our custom fields are not displaying obviously here so what we need to do is to use a page builder like elementor for instance and create our own template so let's go ahead with this so we go back to our wordpress dashboard again we go back to plugins add new and this time we're going to look for elementor there it is so install now activate very good so now that elementor is activated as you can see there it is we have the templates and right here we have the theme builder which is the one that we want to use but if you click on it as you can see this is part of the paid version so don't worry now that we have elementor installed i have a free add-on for you a free plugin basically okay so we click on add new in the plugins here and right there you look for x pro very good and we're going to install two of them okay the first one here x pro add-ons for elementor along with the best theme builder for elementor and again this is for free this is what we want we want a free theme builder okay so let's install this together install install very good now we go back to our installed plugins we're going to select those two bulk action activate apply that's it so now they're both installed and if you look here by the side, we have XPro add-ons. If you hover on top, we have the theme builder. And again, this one is totally free. So we just saved at least $60 a year altogether. Okay, so theme builder. And now we can create our own archive page. So let's add new. 
and we are going to call this one recipe single page and then we can select the type of template so this is going to be a singular page and now display on and this is where we're going to select where we want to display this so as you can see here we have recipes all recipes so this is the one we need to select and for all users as well and now we can publish and now we can design our landing page so edit with elementor very good and as you can see of all our different widgets here from expro add-ons and we can start adding them so let's create a section here maybe a two column one very good and we add a heading here so this will be our title okay so we can remove those two here and now if you click on this we can add some dynamic tags so basically import dynamic content so let's click on this and there you go we get a message here again this is part of elementor pro version Thankfully enough, I have a free solution again that's going to save us at least $60 a year. So let's go ahead with this and so we go back here and now we're going to add a new plugin. So click add new and this one is called Master Elementor Add-ons. And as you can see, as part of the title, what we're interested in here is the display tags, basically, you know. So this is the feature we need to have access to. So install now, activate. We can skip this all together. And now if you go back to our page here, let's close this and let's refresh. Let's click on our title and let's click on the dynamic tags. And there you go. We have access to all the dynamic tags again for free, absolutely free guys. Okay, so let's insert maybe the title here. So this is the post. So I'm going to insert the post title. There you go. Recipe single page. And then we can start designing the full landing page now. But now, obviously, before we do so, we might want to install a theme as well, because this is the basic theme that comes with a WordPress, which is called 2023. So this is very basic, you know, doesn't look nice at all. So let's add a new theme and it's going to help us as well design something nice. And as you can see, we have a few recommended here. The most popular ones of Hello from Elementor, Ocean WP. We have Astra, Cadence, Neva, etc., etc. But the one we're going to install that's fully compatible with Elementor is Astra, which is, uh, like I said, one of the most popular ones, you know. So let's click install and then activate very good and then we can import some demo content as well which will help us greatly and save us a lot of time as well okay so we click on get started and from here simply scroll down the page click this big blue button here that says build your website now obviously we're going to select elementor and now we can select the theme that we want to install the demo content basically the starter template so we can use the search box here so let's look for cooking and there you go we have one here so as you can see some of them are premium so these are paid version obviously i think is 89 dollars or something like this but again we're going to use only free resources so as you can see you have this one here deli restaurant you have this one here for steakhouse so again depending on the the theme and whatever you want to set uh, maybe we can use this one here online courses so that would fit i think uh, roughly what we're trying to achieve here so let's click on this now skip and continue you can choose your default colors as well as you can see it could be green could be orange or whatever you know whatever color you fancy you know uh, let's go maybe with the blue and you can select your font as well you know as you can see we'll set the mood as well so i think the one that was initially there was fine so let's go with this one and let's click continue so as you can see, we need to install Learn Dash, but we don't need this. We're going to skip this all together and now import the whole content. So submit and build my website. And this is only going to take a few seconds. And there you go. We have a firework and all of this, you know, so basically 16 seconds all together. And now we can click on this button here to exit and go back to the dashboard. So we can dismiss this message as well. So let's have a quick look in the front end. So hover on top, visit site, open in a new tab. And let's have a quick look. So there you go, hero section. And as you can see, you can replace this with our actual recipes instead of courses, obviously, you know. So that's all the same. And it's all designed for us nicely. All we have to do now is just to customize it, okay? So let's go back to our uh, customized page here, landing page, the recipe single page. And we can continue on uh, designing this now. So there you go, I'll refresh the page quickly. And as you can see, the font has changed. So that means that the theme itself is in place, okay? So what do we need underneath this? Normally, maybe our image. So let's create a new section again, maybe divide it in half. So we could have the image here, maybe in some description on that side, okay? So let's add the image. So for this, we can scroll down, look for image. 
drag and drop and again we're going to load this dynamically okay so i'm going to click on this dynamic tags and we're going to select the post featured image and every step of the way if you're not too sure you can always have a preview you know so if we go back to the front end so this is what our page used to look like a big image in the title and that's basically it now if you refresh there you go as you can see now the title and everything on top the header section footer section and in between we have the title here irish soda bread and then the bread itself okay so now you have a quick overview of what it looks like you know exactly what it looks like in the front end it can adjust that very easily so let's go back here so for instance the title here would be better if it was aligned to the left like this you know and now we can add the rest of the content so right here we're going to add all the information so we have the short description and also the five small sections remember that we had so let's go ahead with this so first here we're going to add a bit of description so this is a text widget so I'll select this one drag and drop and again this is dynamic tags scroll down the page and this one we're going to select custom post fields now as you can see you have the key list but it's not listed here so we have to fetch that manually basically we need to insert the custom key right here so we go back to our custom fields field group and you have all those fields here so this is basically the name here okay so we're going to grab the short description click on this and then paste it here okay and then update and again if you're not too sure just go into the front end and refresh your page and there you go as you can see this is our description and underneath we're going to put our five different elements we have the prep time cook time total time serving and yield so we have to create a small inner section that will go inside this section so let's go back to our elements and let's select our inner section drag and drop there you go as you can see we have two columns so maybe you can break this down so right click on this one duplicate so we have three of them and now we can duplicate this all together there you go we have our six elements and now we can insert them individually so basically here we're going to go back here we're going to go select text drag and drop again here dynamic content scroll down the page post custom field and now let's fetch the next one so this one is prep time let's put this here prep time okay and again just to be sure let's click update and let's have a quick refresh here in the front end so it's displaying fine and obviously we have to add before this prep time so people know what this is about you know so if you click back on your custom field here we have advanced and before that we're going to add prep time semicolon okay and then update and that's basically it. so let's double check just to be sure very good so now we can do the same with the others okay so there you go i've created the others here so if i click on the next one let me show you if you go to the field here as you can see this one is cook time and cook time here okay so then you can have a quick look in the front end that's basically what it looks like so we have prep time cook time total time servings and yields and now we can add our ingredients and also the directions so let's go back here and let's create a new section underneath so two columns so we could have maybe the ingredients on one side and the directions on the other okay so let's start by adding maybe a title here so we're going to select heading drag and drop so this one will be called ingredients and the other one will be directions so let's change our color here let's select a dark gray so maybe this one here this is perfect and underneath we're going to add the description itself okay all the ingredients so again this is dynamic content so we're going to add some text again dynamic tag scroll down this one is custom field let's go and select this so this one is called ingredients let's paste it here and that's basically it we don't need to add anything before and then we can do the same with the other one so there you go basically something like that okay and now let's have a quick look so let's refresh our page and there it is as you can see you have the irish soda bread we have the description all the small information here ingredients and also directions so this is displaying absolutely fine what we can do maybe is add a bit of breathing space on top and at the bottom so let's go ahead with this so basically we select our section here advanced and on top we're going to add a bit of padding perhaps maybe let's try 80 there you go and we're going to do the same with the bottom one here so we go in advanced and this one is the bottom one and we're going to add 80 again let's click update and just to be on the safe side let's have a quick refresh again 
And there you go. This is a lot better. Now, clearly, you'll have to spend a bit more time, obviously, in order to design this properly. This is a rough structure here to show you how this works, but you get the whole idea anyways. So now let's go back to our WordPress dashboard. Just to show you, I created a few recipes here, basically eight all together. That's it, eight items, you know. And now we can use these and implement that on our homepage. I'm going to show you how you can insert dynamic listing as well on your homepage, okay? So we go to pages now, all pages. So there's a home page here with Elementor. So edit with Elementor. I'm going to open this in a new tab again. So welcome to our home page. So again, we're using Elementor here. So you can feel free to change any of these. Now, if you don't like the heading here, you find it maybe too complex or maybe too busy or something, you can replace this with something else. You know, all you have to do is click on the plus sign here. And since we installed Xpro, you have access to a lot of free templates as well. So if you scroll down, you can find something maybe related to uh, cooking or something like this one here. So all you have to do is click insert and then you can scroll down and delete this one it says so click the x sign and that's basically it so now we have a totally different feel and again you can change the background image and your heading here the text and all of that obviously you know to fit your own requirements obviously you know so if you scroll down the page as you can see at the moment this was initially for courses so uh, cooking courses and all that you know so we just can replace this now with our own content so like we said i created exactly eight different recipes here so as you can see they're all here so we're going to use them and display them dynamically here based on different factors so depending on maybe you want to display the latest maybe featured ones and so on and so on or different sections maybe all together okay so right here we're going to click on the plus sign we're going to add a section and this one is a full width section just like this okay now we go back here and in the elements here we're going to select dynamic listing so let's scroll down and select this one so there it is, it's called post grid, so drag and drop, there it is. So by default, it will display the blog post, but we can display any type of uh, dynamic content, obviously, you know. So as you can see of the layout, you can select among different layouts and all that, but first let's take care and let's insert the actual content. So for this, we go to query here, and as you can see at the moment, it's gonna fetch the post, but this is not what we want. What we want is the recipe. So let's select recipes. There you go. So by default, it will display three of them. But again, we can go to general and change that all together. So maybe you want to display four. And again, as you can see, it's only displaying three of them. So we go back here now to query and here we have the per page. So basically you can define how many you want to display per columns. So how many columns? So that could be four columns. And then in total, how many do you want to display? So we have to take care of this as well. So obviously we're going to increase this to four but maybe you want to display eight all together, in which case we'll have two rows of four uh, recipes, okay? So as you can see, that looks very professional, doesn't it? So let's go back to the general settings here and you can select among 10 different layouts. So this is layout number one, but maybe you would prefer layout number two perhaps layout number three and again they're all slightly different so again this is just a matter of preferences feel free to select the one you prefer obviously you know now let's scroll down the page and right here as you can see we have the old section so you can delete this and make room for this one and then you have courses here so you might want to change this here maybe for featured or maybe most viewed or latest uploaded recipes or something like this okay or you can upload a specific category as well in which case i'm going to show you how to do that so let's say if you wanted to break this down in different categories maybe one is asian cooking maybe american style or french style or whatever it is you know uh, mexican recipes and so on you could break this down in different sections so let me show you how to do this if you wanted to do so so let's click update let's go back to our wordpress dashboard and this time in custom post type we're going to edit again our post here so this is called recipes if you scroll down the page there's an option that you can enable which is called hierarchical so that's the one here so you need to set this as true so basically as you can see you can uh, create parents and parent child relationship so you can create categories subcategories sub subcategories and all uh, and as, as many as you want basically and then you will also need to enable one setting here which is categories right there okay and then click save post type and now if you go back to recipes as you can see of an added tab that says categories and now you can create as many categories as you want so let's create one maybe let's call it indian cuisine okay and maybe the other one would be mexican mexican 
cuisine okay just like this add new so we're just going to create two of them for now now we go back to all recipes and now we can add them to each categories okay so what we can do is have a quick edit if you wanted to so let's say this one would be indian cuisine and we do the same with the others so there you go as you can see the first four are indian cuisine and those one would be mexican cuisine and now let me show you how you can break this down on your home page then so we go back to our home page here and instead of this we're going to replace this with something else now obviously you know so we're going to keep the featured section here we're going to keep this all together so you could for instance here instead of this we could put indian cuisine okay and right there we're going to delete those um columns okay delete delete we're just going to keep one column and delete what's inside okay so delete this delete this delete everything else okay we're just going to keep the column on its own there you go now let's bring it closer just like that and now we are going to install our post grid again so let's look for it uh, there it is post grid drag and drop and now we can insert our specific categories items from one specific category which was indian cuisine okay so again let's scroll down here we go to query and let's select the type of post so this one is recipes and as you can see of categories here and now we can narrow this down to indian cuisine so let's type in the first three letters so indian there you go and these are the three posts from that category obviously you know and obviously you can define how you want to display your post as well is it by title alphabetically maybe by date last modified date or randomly all together so this is basically how you can display your content all your recipes on your home page dynamically uh, by categories if you want it indian or mexican and also you can display them all just like here you know basically all the recipes all together maybe the latest or the featured one again alphabetically or whichever way you want very good and now as always don't forget to click update to save everything okay so let's go back to the home page now let's have a quick look so that looks absolutely fantastic the hero section here with all our recipes right there and as you can see here broken down by section and you can create as many as you want obviously you know so we have testimonials here and etc etc but again you can easily edit did that uh, using elementor this is self-explanatory for the rest you know so this is a lovely page a lovely website indeed so now one more thing i'm going to show you just in case if you want your visitors to be able to upload recipes on your website i'm going to show you how you can turn this in some sort of marketplace basically okay so again we go back to our wordpress dashboard and we're going to install a new plugin so we go to plugins add new and this time this one is called wp users so there it is you know so install now activate and now you can close this so not right now that's perfect and you can dismiss those messages you know close this and close that and the same with this very good and as you can see now by the side we have user front end so we go to post forms and now we can create a form that will allow your visitors to actually upload dynamic content onto your website okay so i'm going to add a new form here so we're going to start with a blank form and the very first one obviously is the post title so we're going to put this one here so this is the title itself and then we're going to start breaking this down in different sections so let's go back again as a refresher here we created those custom fields so after the title we have the short description prep time cook time total time serving yield ingredients and direction so let's go ahead with this so let's create for instance the short description here okay so we can copy this we're going to need it so let's go back here and this time we're going to select a text area we click ok here so click on the small pencil and we're going to instead of the meta key here where it says text area replace this with our actual meta key so the de short description and right here we're going to put short description as well okay very good so this is our first field and then we can add the others so next we have the prep time cook time and so on those five so let's go ahead with this so let's copy this one and let's create the next one so we're going to add a new field so this one is going to be text a simple text let's click ok and let's edit no let's paste this here prep time and we can put here preparation time okay 
very good and let's go to the next one so there you go basically like this you know i've created those very quickly and then we can do the same with the ingredients so ingredients let's copy this and this is going to be a text area again so all fields text area okay and again the same principle for those two you know so this is ingredients and the same with the directions very good and the last thing now we need to add is the image so as you can see a featured image that's the one we need and we have upload image but this is featured image that we need you know so click on this upload featured image now save form and then now we're going to go to our settings section here and define where those posts will be saved so as you can see by default this post which is blog post which is not what we want obviously we want recipe so make sure you select this and then you can have your post status as well so by default it will be published but you can also have it pending if you want to review it or whichever way you want okay so don't forget to click save so let's go back to our form and now we're ready to go and that's basically it now we're done with this and now we can put this in the front end basically insert it anywhere on a page where your visitors will be able to upload their own content so let's put this to the test now and for this we go back to post forms and we need to fetch this short code here so copy this and now let's go to pages and we're going to create a new page all together okay so add new so let's give it a title so let's say let's say upload recipe okay and now we can click on the plus sign here and we're going to insert a short code so it's right here if you don't find it you can always type short and there it is and insert the short code we just copied okay now let's click publish publish and let's have a quick preview so preview view in a new tab very good so as you can see of all everything here and now we can insert all the content that we want okay so let's put this to the test let me upload some content so there you go basically something like this you know so this is all sample contents so one thing we need to do now is to upload our image so featured image let me select one so open there it is and now we can submit and there you go by default it will redirect us to the published post and as you can see here if you go back to the back end it is right there you know test upload recipes and if you click on it all the information is right there as well and something else you could do obviously is to have the call to action button here linked immediately to that form so that your visitors know exactly where to click to upload their own recipe